way towards towards A, but Sarkas already with some scouting information is going to spot a lot of this. Yampi there as well. Into the setup they go, Link with the double. And with that said, it's going to be the uh, Trailblazer, so they could actually give a raid boss to Yampi with that frenzy to get the first opening blood. With that, they get control of the map, but it's still a big flank from Scream. So a three on one, unfortunately, as crew weren't watching their backs. Very nice. Screen kind of perfectly. You can't. They're not really putting a foot wrong. They're, they're actually giving up the the, uh, the six through mail. And oh wow, Nagzed, that's a fantastic shot. Screams there with the judge. That would that should have been a, an easy one for Scream, but Nagzed too quick. And crew are now barreling into this B site, looking quite effective. They've got pretty much everything that they could want. There goes the dark cover as well, and the plant on default. So. Fantastic contact play from Crew. A beautiful kill. That actually shambled the whole setup here for the defense. But Yappy is on that flank. They have a, a lot of utility to watch at the same time. But here comes a push in from spawn side. And looking at quite hard four here at the moment. Player down to eight, three versus one. After all said and done, Liquid fall. It's a good attempt, but Crew. The, the wall at the same time to see towards mid that was set up by Cryptics on that staircase. And now it could be a wall that helps out on these crosses towards the A side. But. What an opening there from Klaus. Yeah, looking really good here. Scream in the back of the site. Oh, fantastic work from Scream. And it doesn't seem like there's all that much left here in terms of firepower for crew to take this site. The NJ with a nice position up in heaven, able to find Cryptics. But he is the last man standing now, BNJ. 10 seconds to go. The pressure is really on in this situation. It's just not enough time for that one, and Soulcast will take him down. Frustrating 145 damage with the Sheriff, so it worked out perfectly to get that first entry, and you saw, as the pacing you mentioned, Dan, to get where the, the, the defense set up Woodstorm, it comes back and swings back in the favor of the defense. Yeah, quick trade there towards A, and... Should be helpful. Trailblazer sent forward by Soulcast. There goes. Oh my God! It's Soulcast! My oh. goodness gracious me! Now it's a difficult spot for crew. They do have some forward positioning. In fact, they're actually going to force the issue here. Able to take control of heaven as well. In comes Soulcast once again. Out go the flashes. Turning the corner. It's not going to work out for him this time. And crew are actually holding onto some position here, but they don't have the site just yet. Res comes up. Bold stuff. The bait works, though, because Cryptus goes down on the swing, and now huge advantage, and there's a res coming through from Scream as well. Oh, no. Into Yampi, into the crosshair. Down Just mid. sitting here, ready and waiting. Dash, oh, oh my. good, with Scream as well to clean it up for the 3k. Yeah, there's off angle here from Scream. Can he get the one and fall back? Oh, dropping down. It's scary. Yampi goes down. It's up to Scream now to hold on to this position by himself. Klaus will take him out. Not too much love here on these engagements for Liquid, but the crew, they've got the bomb site, they have the plant, and there's only two players from Liquid to do anything here, and they want nothing to do with this. <laughs> and you can't blame them. And for, for Cryptics, it's actually not going all the way towards the entrances because he does he wants to leave it clear so that Yampi can opt towards his A ramp. Speaking of Yampi. It's a nice opening. Repositioning. Surely not going to peek into this one. Yampi looks so poised for this. <laughs> and of course he connects it. And the problem with that one is now they're down to three players. They've got no map control. We're getting the Trailblazer thrown through to be exactly. main once again. You know, Soul Cast on that sky, able to get so much information. And also Andy with the headshot. Huge, huge. Huge aggression here on A main, trying to fight for this early control and Scream running backwards and spraying, finding the frags. Two wow. down now for our crew, right at the offset of this round. Ooh, they read that Jason. perfectly. They really did. This looks very desperate now, Vansili. Yeah, I mean, you can try anything you want so far for a crew, breaking that wall, getting the flash out at the same time. Like, the, the timeout was like, hey, we just have to try to explode. They, they were trying to throw the paranoia into A main. And if they, they could break that wall for crew and catch them off guard, perfect. But then a self wall that comes out from Scream. You have a flash that comes out from Soulcast that was already posted there, by the way, when it's always lurking towards that mid side. They were just ready for it. And with that, I feel that... Well, B, so right now it could be A or B as far as Liquid are concerned. Really smart stuff from Crew. Yampi will whip that one. That will give an opportunity here now for Crew as they make their way forward. Bladestorm comes out from Yampi as well. 
Time is of the essence here. They can't afford for anything to go wrong here, oh, but no. everything is going wrong. Cryptics with a double, and it might just get worse a bit. No, Crew able to try to convert this one here with a plant off of the back of those two kills from BNJ. Out comes the showstopper as well to try to delay things. Liquid will have to wait, surely, and there's that res. 3v3 after plant now for Crew. Oh, Orbital Strike comes through. That forces BNJ into a fight that he, I don't think he was interested in. And now we get the lockdown coming through. So many ults, <laughs> just the dive from Link onto that kill? lockdown. Oh my goodness. And now Liquid with perhaps the last effort coming through from A-Main. There's Mazzino with the defense. That one oh, no. not the second is Scream, of course. And he's got time for this one. Scream has time off the back of those two kills. This guy is always, always reliable for Liquid. This one. It could have been a little bit better, but here comes another explosion into the A site. There it goes Crew straight in there. Link at the back of the site looking to defend. Oh my god, he's owning absolutely everybody so far. Nang said, was drifting there, floating. You thought that that might be the trick to get Crew into the site, but they're still stuck here. They've only got a main and a ramp control. That's all they have. As soon as they were to take down one, but Scream to finish off the rest. A they, they, they know about Yampi too, so it's quite awkward. They're going to try to crunch with him. and Well, he's going to go down, but it did waste a lot of time. So... There is that. Scream. The frenzy. And here goes Link to kind of body block this one and take those first engagements. Link and Scream doing the damage there to hold on to a ramp control. Still though, crew in with a chance here. Time is starting to tick away pretty quickly. There they go, making their way forward now from heaven. Just jumping straight onto the deep use. Is it going to be a stick here? Now it's getting back that comes off of it. Soulcatch removes him forcibly. That's the, that's the real battle for Liquid now. You can see Scream's trying to work a main, but it doesn't really have the ability to do so. Falls back off of that one. That's good news for Crew. Soulcast will take down Mazzino, though. Good punish from Klaus. But again, Liquid very constricted on the site here. Not many places for them to stand as Crew comes in to try to trade these kills. Yampi's still with that judge playing the close positions around Elbow. That's going to be very difficult to deal with. In comes Klaus, and Yampi will reveal himself with that judge, and indeed, it doesn't seem like they have any answer to that. Liquid hold on to the site. Uh, just playing close range with that judge, good enough, and even on top of that, Cryptics continues that same type of, like, uh, snake bite into Viper Cloud into Scream. Actually, have sort of rotated in time, and Liquid, it's going to be tough for them to push forward, but with that said, Scream able to take down Mazzino might make things somewhat easier. b &J with this judge. Ooh, Cryptics. He's going to take that as the cue to go forward. And that position's been given up now. Ooh, B &J. Ooh. That's so close, isn't it? <laughs> 30 seconds left. I was actually surprised with that one, too. Doing a lot of audio calls, but here's a push towards spawn site. Delzik has to come up huge. And yeah, Soulcast will take down Delzik. Nag set with the Guardian. It's going to be tough to hold off a lot of players at once with that one. Unable to get almost anything with it. 10 seconds to plant the spike. It's getting quite desperate here on time. There goes the spike on the ground. b and is not in a position to deny it. He's got no HP. The classic has to come out. Pistol round. So, yeah. Anything can happen here still. We've got the Paranoia available for Delzik as well on this retake. Oh, Yampi, nice timing there. I don't think b expected that at all. These small maneuvers here from Yampi have been very difficult to deal with and get that one way there as well making life even more hard and you can see the counter coming through with the cloud burst and scream goes straight into it out he goes to try to see if he can find any of these opponents while coming onto the site now crew trying to get something going here but it is simply too much lots of good applications for that on this map spike planted on the a site here for team liquid again working with a judge a few specters and a ghost this will be a huge round for them to win if they're able to do so. That's a great first pickup, though, for Crew. That's Yampi down. That's the Blade Storm gone as well. Topcast ready with that recon darts. And in goes the Paranoia as Crew try to charge this A site down. Link's actually made his way back through the smoke there near the side of the door and could have a nice little flank timing coming in here. No Deals way. with Mazzino, and that's going to cause problems right now because time is of the essence here. Link still creating a delay, still in this position. They have to stick it. I don't know if there's actually time for this one. It's going to be a close defuse here coming through for Crew, and they're going to make it work. Liquid, but again, 
it's this game of post plant positioning. Cryptics will delay things with the nano swarms. And they surely know, crew. They surely know about Scream. And indeed, they'll deal with Scream before Soulcast can do anything about it. Soulcast, though, through the smoke, able to find one. The trades are coming through, though. Crew looking pretty good on this retake. Time is a problem. We do get that lockdown coming in as well. That's going to send Link back further, deeper into A main. The TP comes oh. through, and Crew are going to take him down to get the defuse in the bag for Klaus, for Crew. And with Naxxed, indeed, on this flank, the amount of pressure on Liquid here is is pretty huge. Oh, I love the move from Naxxed as well. Naxxed able to just rotate back around. Liquid have to worry about the flank. Oh, yeah. But he's able to reinforce this main push. And there it is, the swing onto the site. Beautiful stuff coming through here from Crew on this retake. Could have get all the kills, so one player still left is Soulcast. He has the Hunter's Fury. Is he going to pop it? Oh, Mazina's just sticking it. He is just sticking it. No fear at all. Beautiful <laughs> stuff. Soulcast is wondering what the hell just happened. But we'll go more into that in a second. Yep. Ooh, nasty shot from Scream. Nails Nagset with that Sheriff. Klaus comes out to try to get these trade kills. B&J stuck in a very dangerous position and Team Liquid doing a lot of damage here. They're looking very good. Belzik has to deliver from backside from Boathouse. Yampi with the trade though. Leaves it to Mazzino here for crew to save the day. Uh, Rez. Rez coming in. That's huge. Can he defend though? Scary stuff. Hunter's Fury comes in from B&J and it's just one player left. Cryptics creeps up the side straight into B&J's cross. Yampi trying to get that forward position. And he goes down. That's a huge kill from Crew as they look to hold this wow. site. In fact, they've completely deflected Liquid. They can't make their way through the choke point. Jill right now for uh, Crew Esports. So he's doing a very good job at the same time to be able to read it out. And it's going to be Nagzet with the first kill onto Yampi as he was trying to dash into the site. Such a huge kill to get. And look at how difficult it is now to get through onto the site. In fact, they can't really seem to do it. It's going to be with that wall from Phoenix, from Scream, to make it happen. There it is. There's the curveball through that wall, showing the value of Phoenix here. Nagzet repositioning. And this is difficult here for Liquid. They're fairly spread out. They may be isolated from one another here. Scream is on site with Link. Soulcast from A main has Hunter's Fury. So there exactly. is still actually a lot to play with here. Yeah. The liquids. Very tense. Oh, scream with that one way. At this point, it's looking quite difficult. BNJ with no shock darts remaining. That would be m absolute money if he had some of those. But they're going to give it up. Mazino's still holding towards Catwalk, though. He's looking to make it expensive. He could get some on the exit. There's the first. And there's a oh, second. Nice. They did their job. They did their job. So despite losing the round, to still continue to make expensive for TL. As we said, they, they had pretty much a half by coming through. They're trying to chase down the last player at the same time. Because you've backed away, but we still have Nagzet still in position on A main with the operator. This is and a great angle. Oh, it's the perfect angle there for Nagzet. Oh. Nailing Link as well for two kills. Might be more here. They're going to feed straight into him. There's nothing else that they can do. Nagzet's done everything that's been required. Scream has no time. The round goes to crew. Six to three in favor of them and the team that has less equipment. Like that could be in a... Actually, no, he's got a... He's got assistance on the side. Yeah. And there it is. Klaus is at assistance. Oh, Cryptus will take him down. So some damage is being done here as Liquid pile into the side. It's looking a little bit scary here for Nagzad because Scream is... He's got the rifle. Great so coming there from Nagzad. Really looking comfortable here. Oh, wow. beautiful premium jet stuff from Nagzad's repositioned here again. If they, if they contact into this. Oh, they're going to use the Paranoia, of course. And there's the punish Huge. with Yappy with the dash. But the trade straight back in there from Klaus. One for one. And it looks like Liquid, once again, might be stuck in this choke point. God, the Odin is looking very <laughs> dangerous here from B&J. The spray is wild there. Commits all the way. You've got to respect it. But it's not going to work out for Crew. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> he was there. But there goes Yampi now with the blaze storm. Oh, he's going to whip that one. Klaus with the punish. Scream trading things through. And it's looking pretty crazy right wow. now. Crew, though, looking pretty good on this. Still, the spike has to be planted here for Link. And beautiful Woo! fragging there from Link. Small shields doubling up with potential curveball from uh, from Scream. 
Now here come the trades into the sides. Oh, it's looking good for crew. Three kills straight away for them. Spike planted as well. This will be tough for Soulcast and Link, although three players are quite weak. And now it's now maybe. Oh, okay. BJ is actually going to get a kill out of that. <laughs> Surely not both of them. Indeed, Link's going to take him out. And I'm okay with Okay, this is smart because I was just saying, you don't have to chase him down. Right now, you could potentially give more money, more orb, uh, orbs for Link. At the same time, just let him win that 1v1 in the beginning of the round and seeing that there was a Spectre invested. Going all into A main is so smart. Nice that straight on top of Jen. Love to see it. Team Liquid struggling here to get the kills that they want. In fact, everybody's still standing for crew at the moment. Yampi with the judge. Well, absolutely denied by that door. <laughs> and there you go. You, you're, you're forced to try to retake with a judge at long range, or you have to dash into the site to make things expensive. You, you've invested a lot into this round, and he's even invested into small shields. So for Yampi, if he could try to come out of it unscathed, it would be nice, but he's just going to die. A flawless from Prime. Now they're trying to just barrel into the B side all together. Really smart moves there. Don't spread out. Don't split up. Cryptic's there at the back with the Bucky. Able to find one. Gets a lot of damage, but just the one kill. Spike goes down, and that spells trouble here for Liquid. It's going to be hard to retake with these sheriffs. Yeah, and they're all turned up inside the site as well. And this, I'm okay with it as well if Liquid wants to let them uh, die and go for exits. But for crew, I don't mind them dying too because it's a bonus round for them. Uh oh, the paranoia comes through. Oh, the hot hands as well. BNJ able to. Oh! That, but the headshot's coming what? through from the sheriffs. Oh my god. The timing on that one from Liquid was incredible. Crew, and they don't have time for this. Making their yeah. way up through the window to try to find their way onto the site, trying to clear some kind of a path. The curve force come in. It seems like Liquid have oh. so much utility here. 10 seconds to plant the spike. Time is a problem right now. Crew are still trying to get their way onto the site. Soulcast denies the spike plant. A second oh kill. My God. Every kill there from Liquid right at the end. Out of the round, effectively. Yep. Just off straight utility, right? It was a blade storm that was there, and whoop, okay. The Frenzy's gonna help a bit. Oh wow, he actually dinked up Link as well. But yes, it is a just a save round here from Crew, so not too much going their way. Quick 180 there. Now it's all onto Liquid, trying to coordinate their efforts here. They've got a few points of attack. Market, spawn, and soon to be a main, uh, B main it's be as well. Scream. It's got to be off screen. Once again, positioning, I wouldn't be surprised if a running back comes out at the same time, too. There you go. There it is. You called it, and are they able to trade off of that? Looks like they will. Two kills going the way of Liquid. Messino able to trade one back, though, as will BNJ. So it's pretty even here. The spike still ticking away. Yappy finally activated in B main as he tries to swing on through and it's up to Mazzino now swinging across Yappy's there and Yappy will take him down and there's just enough time to get this defuse in oh it's so close though explode into the east site oh they're going straight from the dark cover that's going to connect the screen beautiful stuff here Link though takes down Nagset amazing oh, stuff here my. so far from Liquid deflecting this attack Scream is tapping the heads that's what he does that's who he is and that's Liquid with the 10th round now on the board. So with one player behind, somebody is going to have to force a hand. It's going to have to be potentially Yappy peeking out on this catwalk or playing it close. If not, it's just going to be very hard for the defenders to hold and even to retake after that. And it seems to be the latter. They're going to force the hand right now for the attackers into the site, but these nano swarms are going to be huge! Oh no, Team Liquid doing a fantastic job to deny this one. Klaus is on another level though, takes down Cryptics giving just enough space for Delzik to win the fight against Soulcast for the Spike Plant. Two versus two as Yampi and Link come in to try to retake this one. Yampi's going to go down. Klaus again is having such an incredible game. What a display of skill so far. Link with the next challenge here, but against two players. Looking for the trade. He's baits it out. Link! My God. That's incredible there from Link! MP looking for something here. Oh, oh my oh, oh, god! Access ready for it! They are no long choice. gone. And here goes Cryptix, able to find the spike. The second kill comes his way. That's not a bad result. 
Oof, Soul Ooh. Cat. Able to find that one. That's a huge, huge pickup. Yeah, and that's spiked Spike. down at the same time, too. Yeah. They have still the Killjoy Utility on the B side. This is such a great hold for Tig Liquid. Beautiful finish there from Soul Cast. Yep. It's just that extra kill that Cryptic's got, and then obviously losing the Spike in, in a position such as. It's nice that Scream just off that funneled everybody back towards oh. a heavy defense, and that starts things off very well to win the series for Team Liquid. Instant res coming through though for crew. That does at least even things up and strangely that does give advantage. Through the sidewalk has been damaging for them so far. And there's Thunder's Fury to deny the lockdown. Yappy pulls out the blades as well, looking for the moment to go. But already Liquid are in a great position. Yappy actually gets detained. In fact, two players from Liquid are detained. Cryptus backside, can he get out of this in time? Are they going to fight him? Yes, they'll get him. They won't take down Yampi, but with that detain, they have the site under control. BNJ in a critically important position. Oh. Yappy leaps through with the blades. And there it is, straight in the face. Delzik goes down. Yampi with a defuse.